Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick video because I plan on doing a big video during Halloween to talk about every Scream movie, so I'll go in depth later, but I went and saw Scream 2022 and I actually kinda liked it. One thing you may not know about me is that I love the Scream franchise. This mixed bag of franchises had my heart since I was like three. Like I've been Ghostface for about half of my Halloweens including the past one, and I have a little collection of Ghostface merchandise too, so finally getting a new one and seeing it in theaters meant quite a bit to me. It's actually one of the movies I'm most excited for for the entire year, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit worried uh, because it's in the January slot and January is the month dump for movies but it was actually pretty solid I really enjoyed myself watching this movie so this movie is directed by the guys who made ready or not which is a movie I haven't seen because I haven't seen it on streaming but I've been meaning to get around to it there's a difference between this one and the past four screen movies because it's missing Wes Craven that being said I still think they did a great job they constantly have talked about how they become movie makers because of the first original scream so I felt very good going into this movie but I still tempered my expectations even if I didn't do that I think I still enjoy this movie it's not my favorite and it didn't change my worldview, but I thought it was really fun. Nothing will beat the original, especially when it comes to being scary and meta. The sequels try a little too hard to be meta and it doesn't always work. I think it mostly works in this one, but the humor doesn't always land. I won't go into specifics, but it goes into long running franchises and how fan bases can react to them, and I thought those jokes were absolutely hilarious. I really enjoyed that part of the movie. The kills in this movie are more graphic and brutal than the past Scream movies. Scream 1 has some great kills and is actually pretty brutal, and the sequels really let go of that. My killer too is in the fourth one, but I enjoyed the brutalness in this movie. Ghostface felt so menacing, the way he toyed with his victims and the way he kills them in this movie, I just thought they were done really well. I always miss the times when Ghostface played his games in the sequels, uh, like he did in the first one, and he brings it back a little bit in this movie, which I absolutely loved. Character wise, the original cast is not used much in this movie, but they're used correctly I believe. Dewey is always great, and I think he was used a great amount in the movie, almost about perfect I think. Sydney actually doesn't show up until a bit later than I thought it was, and while I think she's used really well, I think they could have done just a little more, even though this movie's clearly passing the torch. Sydney has always been the focus, and she is, in my opinion, my favorite Scream Queen out of any horror franchise, and I think this movie did a great job with her, uh, especially not being focused on her, and I like the idea that it's not focused on her, I just wish they did a little more on her insight and emotions and feelings about the situations, and especially the reveals in this one. Specifically like trauma, I wish they delved a little bit more into trauma from past movies, I think that would have elevated the movie a little bit more for me. Gail is used really well in this movie and is classic Gail, but it does still leave room for her character to grow just a little bit even though she's not in this movie a ton and I just thought it was done really well. There's been a lot of time since we last seen our cast so the changes within these characters make sense to me uh, and I thought that was done really well. When it comes to the new characters in this movie, I like them but they really lack the charm that the main cast from the first movie had. I cared a lot about the main cast in the first Scream but for this one there's a small amount of characters I liked and truly cared for. Like most of them I was just waiting for them to get killed. There's a lot of pointing fingers in this movie uh, that I liked, but this strong friend group loses trust within each other, like, immediately. Uh, I feel like this wouldn't happen in real life, but this is also a, a very meta movie, but this universe has also had killings for the past 25 years, so maybe this would happen in real life. I'm not really sure. Another thing is that the music was a bit generic. It was good, but I was hoping for a bit more from it, and also a few more callbacks to the original soundtrack would have been cool. We got some callbacks that are nice, but I just wanted just a little bit more. Without spoiling the twist, you know, I, I didn't love it. Uh, I thought it was serviceable, I thought it was good, uh, but it wasn't my favorite, but I also didn't hate it, and I can't specifically or non-specifically say why I liked uh, the twist, but I didn't love it and why I didn't hate it. It's just, it was fine. It's, it's, a, it's a decent twist. It's good enough for what it is. Uh, it's not my desired choice, but it wasn't bad in my opinion. I think this twist, in my opinion, is a bit better than Scream 3 and 4's twist. Uh, that's me personally. Uh, I'm not sure how it sits with Scream 2 yet, but I know for sure nothing will ever beat the twist in Scream 1. Like, it's just a, just a good classic twist. I think this one was fine. It didn't really blow my mind, uh, but also didn't take the movie down a peg. I had a lot of fun watching this new Scream movie, which is all I want when it comes with this franchise. Overall, I think I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. I'm really divided between a 7 or 8 because I, I really like liked it, and I'm looking forward to see it again. I'm also looking forward to getting the Steelbook and added it to my DVDs uh, for my Scream display in my room. If you're a Scream fan, I definitely suggest you go see this movie, or if you're a movie fan in general who wants to watch a fun one, I think this movie is great, especially for January movies. Most January movies are god awful, but I think this one actually was pretty decent. Anywho guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hearing my little review. There are always monthly videos on this channel. My next video will be the top movies and TV shows I'm excited for the year, which I actually recorded last week, and I will finally finish my Matrix sequels video whenever I can. Hope you're all doing well, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.